Nice. Hey, it's Chris Homestead and Hardaway. And the other day we did a review on the cheap Amazon corn grinder, corn meal. And there was some things we talked about it really needed it didn't have. I better come right here and show you. First thing it needed was a switch. The only way you could cut it on and off was to unplug it and plug it up. That's a 30 amp switch. We'll see how good it holds up. You know, a lot of switches come in different amp ratings. This is 30 amp. I built this little stand out of, honestly, whatever scrap metal was laying around. And no, I don't do blueprints. I didn't, I just throwed it together. But it'll give you an idea of what to do. And this way of doing it works pretty good. She'll show you how it works. You need to do it from the other side so you don't get the switch on. But anyway, when you get ready to use it, you just pick it up, turn it over, and the barrel holds it up. This way you don't and get so much dust. You can put a pin in the holes. Yeah, you can set it whatever height if you want it. But that's by accident because that piece of pipe already had holes in it. And then this is what I've been doing. This thing puts out a lot of dust. So I've been covering it up with that. I will show you. We're using it to grind corn for the chickens. Seems to do a whole lot better that way. Now we just bought this as a get by while our uh, the burn meal I normally use is out of commission. But this is the other way you can use it. Which is really how I normally it will do it nowadays. We don't need it.
a pretty good job. And it'll make pure cornmeal. But it'll grind it a little coarser than my hammer mill will. This is the other thing I probably need to show you. Should come around here. Now, I can't stress this enough. If you lock this thing up, it won't act like a locked up electric motor. It'll just stop. And I sure would have loved to have been able to see the inside of one before I bought it. This is the ball bearing that they don't really give you a way to grease. And after it wears in, it won't fall out as bad as it did when it was new. So you can't even get it out now. When it's new, it'll fall out. But uh, a little bit of grease right here and a little bit of grease right here and right here. Whenever you use it, would be pretty good effort or worthwhile effort. If you want to look at it, but to clean it out, that's all you do, and you see how it works. Just the two working plates, corn comes out in the middle, falls out down here. I even thought about making a, a sock and go on it. That's kind of all there is to it. But the stand and the switch were needed. I mean, needed badly. Now, you can bolt to the side of a table if you'd rather do that. This stand was sitting on the barrel the couple of weeks we had to use it to actually make hog feed. This was great. It was aggravating the feed. This hopper only holds five pounds. And something I will tell you, if you have to make the hopper bigger, these things will stop up. Even the big ones will stop up. You have to stick something down there to unstop them. So if you make it too big, it's aggravating to get down to the bottom of it. Or maybe it'll help you a little bit. A lot of people asked a lot of questions about these things. And we bought one. This one was in the $200 plus shipping range. And I'm probably going to set it, if you want to know the truth about it. We're still trying to figure out what to do about the plates on the other one. That we've kind of gone through and restored everything except the new plates. I better kind of throw a little bit of that at the end of the video. So as soon as I get that fixed, I'm gonna, somebody's going to get this one. But you can, if you didn't have one or two pigs to feed or chickens or stuff, it would do the job. And for $250, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's not the best thing ever, but it depends on where your baseline's set. If you're used to having a big meal, it kind of ain't nothing. If you're not used to having anything, it's pretty good. You know, uh... I described it to somebody the other day that if all you'd ever had was a shovel, a termite was a pretty handy tool. But if you're used to having a big backhoe, a termite's kind of a toy. It just it all depends on where your baseline set is. But anyway, maybe that'll help you. Remember, you can do all this stuff, but you'll never get it done standing around thinking about it. You never apply a field but turn it over in your mind. So get up and get after it, go do it. And I hope this helps. We'll talk to you later.